Hello and welcome back to my face and something a little bit different again. Uh, similar to my uh, Bond shop uh, like tier list, I decided, because the same again as that one, a lot of people come on stream who are either newer to the game or have come back to the game recently and are asking me how best to spend their Battle Pass tokens. And I think that's a video I can respond with and provide a, a bit of an answer to. Um, done in the same format as my um, Bond review one, so not going too much into the stats, just literally just being blunt, which means this is going to be a very short video, but that's what I want it to be, so you can just get a very quick understanding of how me, an experienced, relatively skilled player, ranks these tanks on the surface. Now, we're going to start off with the older tanks, so the tanks which have been in since the first iteration, and then move on to the more newer tanks. So... We'll start off with the AE Phase 1. In my opinion, good tank. Very, very self-explanatory. Turret, DPM, works all down. Then, so Object 772, I think that's okay. And if you're a very new player, and you've gone up the IS-7 line or the 277 line, um, I'd recommend you potentially get this as a crew trainer um, for those, because it's a Russian heavy. Uh, but that's up to you, but I think it's situational. Um, then we're going to do the Char Future 4. I think this tank's very good. Got a clip, it's got a little bit of armor, bounces some funky shots, and yeah, it's got a good view range. So why not? Then we're going to do the K91, which I think is, once again, pretty situational. It's not really anything special, you know, it has a bit of armor. Decent-ish gun. It's a bit meh. It is really just a little bit meh. It's nothing special. Uh, Kunza Panzer next. In my opinion, this tank is bad. This I might get some hate for. It's just got... If you're a new player especially, please avoid this tank at all costs. It might look very fun, but it will... You just won't perform in it. It's got m two different modes, which affects its DPM, and it's just a very confusing tank, which I just think is... Yeah, I think it's just bad, to be honest. Bad gun, bad armour, everything about it, really. So feel free to go check out the stats, and, you know, I think Skill has done some good video videos on the Kunza Panzer, so feel free to go check his out. Um, let's do the Cobra. If you have, the, if you save up your uh, credits, get the Cobra. Literally, that's all I can say. This tank is broken as hell. It is potentially the most broken tank tier for tier. Potentially better tier for tier than the Chieftain and 279E because in its clip, if it pens all its HE shots, it can literally one clip a tier 10 medium. It is insane. Save up your tokens to get the Cobra. That is my biggest advice. Then we're going to do the new one, the BZ. From what I've seen of it, it's good. It literally just feels like the BZ at tier 9 in the tech tree, just you know, put into the token store. It seems okay. A little bit like 50 TP-esque, which is the tier 9 Polish heavy. So if you want something a little bit different, um, yeah, maybe give it a go. Uh, Lorraine 50T. You see, I'm now split on this. And I'm going to be harsh. I think this tank is bad. It just doesn't have any armour. Its gun is bad. It's incredibly tall. It feels like the AMX's... Uh, the AMX heavy line before they were buffed, but two times worse. So if you've been a long time player and you can rem remember playing the old AMX tier nine, um, it's just it's just bad. Please avoid it at all costs. So that's my biggest advice I can give you on that. And then we're gonna do this new Udesi thing. This uh, this new German TD, and I've really not seen a lot about this at all, and I'm still yet to fight it in game. But from looking at its stats, its base stats on Tanks TG, which is not really the best representation, because obviously it doesn't see how it, its gameplay, it looks like it's going to be good. And I'm going to veer on the side of putting it into good, because I've heard spoken to a few people who have played it, who have super tested it, and they've said it, it is very good. So there's the potential that this could move on to borderline game-breaking, but we're yet to see. Um, but in my opinion, based upon its base stats, it's good. And if you want to save up your your tokens and try something different. Say, for example, you've already got the Cobra. I'd recommend maybe giving that a go. Maybe a little bit of something different, a little bit funky. And I've added something a little bit extra in here. 
because for free tokens you can get yourself a piece of bounty equipment and in my opinion the most important piece of equipment which you can get in there is bounty hardening and that is going up there into the game breaking it just gives you more HP. So say for example you're trying to be a competitive player, you're looking at playing Onslaught, which is coming very soon in mid-April. Pick yourself a piece of, bond, uh, of Bounty Hardening, sorry, and upgrade it, and you just got yourself more HP. It's a pretty much no-brainer. It just allows you to trade more. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go through it all now so you can have a quick overview. So you can click this or whatever. Uh, Cobra, game breaking. Pick yourself up a piece of Bounty Hardening. Can't go wrong with it. AE, Char, Busy, and this new Udez um, tier 9 German TD thing. I think they're good. You know, you can make each of them work to a game breaking level, and they can be in situations pretty game breaking, but it's, you know, down to the player, uh, the skill of the player. And then into situational, we've got the Object 772 and the K91 PT. Um, they can be good in situations, but in my opinion, they're just pretty meh, nothing special. And in the bad one, we've got the Kunzapanzer and the Lorraine 50T. In my opinion, just avoid them all costs. Unless you have absolutely nothing else to get from the, the token store, just get them and sell them for credits. That's my biggest advice. Uh, but yeah, I hope that helps. And yeah, I'm going to refer to this uh, whenever I'm streaming and people ask so they can come and see this. So yeah, hello if you've come from the stream. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe. And yeah, I shall see you all soon. Bye.